hi guys you are welcome to Gibral enterprise in today's video we are going to talk about phonium that's from planting to final consumption phonium is scientifically known as digitaria azilis it is an ancient cereal native to west africa where it has been cultivated for thousands of years and remained the world's fastest maturing cereal and important crop today. For thousands of years, phonium has been cultivated without fertilizer application and pesticides. This makes it easy to grow it organically without extra cost for farmers. To grow phonium, this can be done with two different options that either seed broadcasting or direct seed sowing for broadcasting method land is fine tilled with light harrowing to ensure loose soil for good germination in phonio production phonio only require a superficial loosened soil because of its small seed nature to broadcast the seeds, the seeds are best mixed with an equal quantity of fine sand to best spread the seeds on the land to avoid over density of seeds on the farm, as this woman is doing. The mixture is then broadcasted on the tilted land. The broadcasted seeds will start to germinate after three to four days when it rained or irrigated on them. On the other hand, when sowing them direct into the soil, a planting distance of 20 by 25 centimeters is required. By this method, the seeds are planted in a shallow depth of about one centimeter to three centimeters into the soil to enhance fast germination. Please note, sowing of phonium seeds in the rainy season or major season typically occurs in May or June and the plants are harvested in September. While in the minor season, it is typically planted in September and are harvested in December since they are drought tolerant. Weed control is ensured on the farm until when the phonium plants start to spread branches to cover the entire soil surface to suppress weed growth. Note, phonium have the ability to grow and spread lateral branches horizontally on the soil surface to a distance of 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters to cover the entire soil surface. They start to produce grains after six to eight weeks after planting, depending the phonium variety used. At this stage, when you notice secondary weed growth on the farm, you can do selective approaching of weeds as portraying by Gibral Enterprise. This helps to avoid difficulties during harvesting. At week 10 to 12, when you notice general drying of the phonium plant, you can decide to harvest them for further drying to avoid bird infestation. But when your area is best free, then you can leave them on the fold for them to dry very well before harvesting. This helps to reduce extra cost of drying. To harvest phonium, sickle is used to cut the plants and are put in basins as this man is doing. Harvesting of phonium is very tedious, hence needs high number of workers 
as portraying. The harvested phonium are carried on the head to a drying mat called tarpaulin for further drying. They are left on the tarpaulin until final drying. After this stage, manual threshing is done and it is done in two different options, thus legs threshing and clubs threshing. For the leg threshing, phonium farmers use their legs to trample the phonium plants and roll them with their legs. This helps to remove the phonium paddy from the plants. This method is normally used in Togo and some parts of West Africa. But for the club threshing method, clubs are used to beat the dry phonium plants to remove the phonium paddy from the plants. The empty plants are carefully removed and the phonium paddy are left on the tapoli. The phonium paddy are collected and winnowing is done to remove the remaining crop residues to get the pure paddy. After this process, the action is done to remove the hull of the phonium. This process can also be done manually or mechanized. For the manual processing, it is mainly carried out by women and is extremely labor intensive. This is done by pounding the phonium paddy using pestle and mortar to remove the hole from the phonium paddy. However, the use of mechanized deaxing machine is the best but very difficult to be accessible to the phonium farmers in the rural areas. With the mechanized, phonium paddy are poured in the deaxing machine and the hooling is easily done in lesser time and less effort. After the dehooling process, the phonium grains are now ready to be used as food in different forms. In compared to other commonly consumed cereals in West Africa, phonio is an excellent source of protein and it is rich in essential amino acids which are deficient in rice, maize and sorghum. Also, in comparison to these other cereals, phonio supplies the greatest amount of iron, zinc, magnesium, vitamin B6, and many more. All these nutritional factors make phonio 10 times more expensive than rice in the market, even though the world is in high demand of rice. Phonio can be boiled as porridge and boiled eating just like rice and it is a good substitute for rice, for diabetes patients, and for people with glutton intolerance. At Jibril Enterprise, phonium grains are packed in commercial packaging bags for export and for local customers within Ghana. We also sell phonium seeds to people or farmers who has the interest in phonium farming, both international and local. In conclusion, I recommend phonium farming to every individual in Africa to help reduce our concentration on rice, which is one of the most African's import commodity. Thank you. Having watched this video, 
I will really appreciate your subscription to this channel for our subsequent videos. Bye-bye for now.